Welcome to episode number 40 of the group Iron Man series. For the past day I've been doing some AFK fishing. I've gained 213,000 experience and uh, rocking this new anglers outfit that I got recently. And I've gone from 70 to 73 fishing. But now Max Nick has asked me to do some chambers of Seric. So let's get into that. Oh, we did Deathless. We did a Deathless, nice. Oh. Jeez. Ah, no loot though. Not yeah. for me at least. It's no loot for me. Bit of a random thing, but in my last video I commented on that the nurse hat has the red cross icon on it and it's actually illegal that they have this. The day after I posted that video, it's not because of my video, but there was a bigger video by Colonello talking about this. They now have it changed, so it was obviously an oversight. Imagine if I would die now. Okay, I think he's dead. Yep, he's dead. <sighs> Anything? No, white. Ah, uh, wait late. Yep. So new personal best that we shaved off three minutes. Yeah. And it was a harder raid. It was a harder raid. Mm -hmm. Keep that in mind. Yeah, good stuff. Good progress. So. Just level 94 magic by Camelot teleporting. <laughs> Rats. <laughs> now we can use barrage. Now that I hit 94 magic, I have barrage without boosting, which helps a lot in the theater of blood on the first boss. And if we're going to do the theater of blood, which I hope we're going to do kind of soon, I will need void. I don't have it, Dovidas doesn't have it, but everyone else does. So I'm a bit late to this, I'm one of the later people to get it. So I might as well start working towards it, and I currently have like no points, I have 18. And I think for just the base set, I need 1,250 for all the helms and all the items. And for the superior, I need 400 more points on top of that. Or elite, I guess it's called. So let's get grinding on this. It's going to be quite a while. The nice thing about this grind is how AFK it is. I'm over 1,000 points right now. And I've gained like 150,000 strength experience by just having the BGS slapping minions here at the Void Knight. But when I have 1,250, I'll buy all the base items and then I'll work on the Western Province Diaries. Then go back here and get the 400 points upgraded to Elite. But I have enough points now and I'm buying the last items. And this is all the base items completed. And I technically can do Theater of Blood with this. It's not the worst in the world, just going with this. But having the Elite is pretty nice, so I'm going to start working on the Hard Western Province Diaries. I'm getting really close at this point, so what I have left is the Chompies, which I'm going to do both the medium requirement for 125 and the 300 for the hard one in the same session. And I have a palm tree planted already, so that's good. But what I need now is to catch a monkfish, wait for the palm tree to grow, and then basically just do the Chompies and I am done. Now for the Swan Song quest, I also need to do the Garden of Tranquility, unfortunately, which is one of my most hated quests in the game. But it is what it is, I have to do it. But here it is, this is the Garden of Tranquility completed after the cutscene. The reason why I dislike this quest so much, it, it doesn't take that long to do it, that's not the thing. But it's just so much farming, you have to teleport all over the place, plant things and uh, pick them up and then bring statues from like Lumbridge and Falador all over here. It's just quite an annoying quest, but uh, nice to have it done anyways. And there it is, 240 quest points, 5000 farming experience and now we have everything to do this swan song quest. It's kind of funny how swan song requires 100 quest points to complete, it literally took me like 5 minutes to do the entire quest. Meanwhile the garden of tranquility, which was a requirement for it, that is a pretty early game quest, took me probably like 20 minutes or something to complete. So yeah, yeah this is the swan song completed, also of course uh, access to the monkfish fishing, which I might do now and then, not sure how useful it is, but uh, 10,000 prayer, 15k magic as well. And a very long conversation that should be done in a second here, hopefully. Oh, 10k fishing as well. That's some nice experience. And of course, while I did this, let's cook one of the monkfish in here to complete the hard Western Province task. That is that done. And now I think everything I have left to do, maybe something more as well. The chompy bird hunting on the medium one. Oh yeah, and I have to check the palm tree in Letia. Hopefully it did not die. I didn't pay for it, but that is the last things I have to do. Moment of truth, let's see if it died or not. It is alive, perfect. So that task is now also completed when I do check this. Let's see in the chat. That is now done. So now it is time to get 300 chompies done. You know, there are some times when you do the chompy bird hunting and you shoot the chompy bird like four times and it refuses to die because the ogre arrows are so bad. 
that's why I'm going to be making these mithril brutal arrows. I think it's going to be good enough to kill them on one shot every time. If I have a good gear, and I'm using the ogre compo of course, which looks absolutely disgusting. Look how big this is. I don't even know how anyone would shoot an arrow with this, but uh, yeah. I have 30 kills right now, let's uh, have a look. 30, and I will have to get that all the way to 300, and then I am done with the diaries. And here we go, that's the last chompy I need. I have everything now. This actually wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I went from 30 to 300 in probably like an hour of active gameplay. I was uh, doing it over like three and a half hours of very AFK doing this, so I could have definitely done it in an hour. But yeah, let's go and complete both the diaries. Oh man, which option is it? Is it, can I have a hat please? I'm not sure, but I need to get the hats for all- Oh yeah, here we go. This is the hats, so many collection logs. And Jesus, that is a lot of hats for 300 different kill counts. But yeah, that is the medium and the hard diary now completed overall. And I just have to go and get the rewards. Some free Erblore experience incoming right here and some nice banners as well. Let's get all the rewards for the medium and the hard diary. And I have a crystal weapon seed in the bag. And the reason for that is because we can now get a crystal halibird on top of all of this. Which is going to be excellent for a lot of PVM activities. I might be bringing that to Chambers of Xerix in the future. Which is uh, of course a very good spec weapon for the hand. But that is also 73 Erblore, very nice. Kind of lucky that Max Snake actually got this seed from the Corrupted Gauntlet a while back, an extra that he obviously did not need, so I can actually make this halberd. Is this going to cost me any money? 450k. Okay, that's not too bad. And that is the halberd unlocked. A very good spec weapon. Well, this time around, I only had to get 400 points for the top and the bottom, and now we have the elite top and the robe completed. So I am done with pest control, which is very nice. I think overall, maybe I got like 300k cash from this grind as well, which is not too bad. But uh, yeah, I'm basically ready for the theater of blood now, and I think we are going to do it kind of in the near future, hopefully. For quite a while, the group has had three Odium Shards 3 and three Odium Shard 2 in the bank, and we only needed the number one, which is from the Chaos Fanatic, which is uh, the most annoying one to kill. It is the slowest to kill, but it is kind of fast with the Bow of Feradinan, which I have the upper hand of having. But we still need three of those shards, and every single one of them is a completed shield. And we really wanted to use that at Nex for the crossbow users. Me and Max Snake is going to be using a bow for Adenan, but uh, not everyone in the team has that. So I'm going to go to the Chaos Fanatic, hopefully get some Odium shards. If you don't know, I actually have already Chaos Fanatic, quite some KC, and I have not got a single Odium piece yet. So hopefully we get that soon. Well, I can't have two of them, but that is a second Chaos Elemental pet. I now have two pets from this boss and zero Odium Shards, and that is not the collection log. But uh, I want to have a look at this. Let's go to Chaos Fanatic. Two pets, two Malediction Shards, zero Odium in 457 kill counts. So there was just an update where they introduced the combat achievements finally for Nex, and I thought I might as well comment on this because my videos lately have been about the combat achievements. I was a bit worried that there would be a hard achievement and I would have to do that, but that is not the case. And let's go to bosses all the way down to Nex, which should be right there. There are 11 achievements and there are only two elite and a bunch of masters and three grandmaster ones. And this one is very easy, kill next ones, kill next without anyone dying. Also these, I mean, these should be done very fast whenever we start doing it with the team. And this of course is a time sink, 100 times. I'm kind of surprised that they went with 100 times because they have been talking about making the kill count ones a lot shorter. I feel like 100 kills on next might be a bit much. Then again, you can always mass it, so it's not that bad. And the rest of these are probably not that bad. I can see the Grandmasters being pretty crazy. Kill next with two or less players inside the arena at the start of the fight. Yeah, that sounds pretty difficult. Not too bad though. I mean, some people have almost soloed it, so it seems decent for Grandmaster. Kill next while a player is coughing. Uh, do you have to bring the cough all the way from the start to the end of the fight? I think that is the case, so that seems very difficult. Or actually, maybe it's not that bad, because you can do that in a mass as well, now that I think about it. I mean, masses do it all the time, unintentionally. So maybe not that bad. 
And uh, kill next while completing the requirements for there is no escape shadow moves aside. Okay, so I'm not sure what those are, but um, yeah, it doesn't seem that bad, honestly. I'm at 569 kill counts, and of course, I get a Malediction Shard. We have way too many of these. How is my collection log looking? I think I just looked at this, but uh, three of them and zero odiums. I'm thinking I'm going to 750 KC and then I'm going to stop. Hopefully I'll get an odium in that time. I went to put in the Malediction Shard in the bank, which actually completes another shield, but do you guys see what we have in the storage? Look at this. We have a Draconic Visage. Apparently Doug actually got that like the day after he posted his latest video. So that is insane. It's like 1 in 10,000 drop rates. And we do actually have Dark World Order that can make that into an actual DFS. So that is going to be really useful for maybe a, like Bandos tanking or something like that. It probably has some other uses as well like maybe Rune Dragons with a Hasta. That could be good. You know, RuneScape does weird things to your brain. I really want the Odium Shard, but I'm at 675 kill count, which is two and a half times the drop rate for the Odium Shard. And at this point, I'm like, how dry can I actually go? If I go like 1000 kills without getting it, I mean, that's kind of like cool, but also very sad. But there it is, 750 kill count on the boss, I basically doubled my kill count in this video, still no Odium Shard, I think how I'm going to do it is I'm going to do 250 kill count every single video, until I get 3 Odium Shards, maybe I'll end at like 2000 KC or something, I guess we'll see. Now when it comes to the loot, I missed tracking 60 of the kills, but 317 of the kills I got this loot. The Ancient Staff by the way is basically the same drop rate as getting a shard. So I got three of those, but I only got one Malediction Shard, so even on Malediction once I was unlucky. But uh, yeah, maybe I'll get lucky in the future. Now after that, with the knowledge of me having done 750 Chaos Fanatic on my group Iron Man, I want to show you guys my main account's collection log on the Chaos Fanatic, because this is ridiculous. I have 137 kill counts and I have 3 odiums, which is li literally what we need on the group Iron Man. So imagine if this was swapped around, that would have been perfect. Now what am I going to do next? Well, I feel like no one in the team is doing much of a medium clue scrolls, so I'm going to go here to Puro Puro, I'm going to start stacking up some impling jars, I'm going to catch a bunch of eclectic implings, and maybe I'll do like 250, 300 or something. By the way, medium clues from them is 1 in 25, so 250 jars would be around 10 clue scrolls. Of course, I want to do more in the future than 10. The ranger boots is roughly like 1 in 200, so we will have to do a lot more than that, but I feel like it's a good thing to start grinding now and then. It's actually really easy to catch the eclectic implings because you can just go to one of their spawn points, which I've marked right there with a the tile marker, and you can just sit here and spam click until you have a full inventory. Sometimes you're kind of unlucky though, and it spawns on the other side, and you will have to root it and walk over there. I think it will happen in just a second here. This is post commentary, by the way. Um, I think right now, yep, there you can see right there, and you will have to root it and run over there. Actually went pretty fast, 266 eclectic implings, and I already had a medium clue in the bank as well, and all I needed for this was actually a mithril plate body. I have the adamant square shield and bone dagger in the bank, so I can do that real easy. But what I'm going to do now is just complete this medium, open all the eclectic implings, and then I'll come back to you guys with the caskets. I honestly feel like this is not my video. Uh, I was really unlucky again. I already had one medium clue in the bank, so I expected to get around 11 clues, and I have now 7. So I got really unlucky. There was a time I opened like 70, 80 of them, and I got no medium clues. But yeah, let's go ahead and open them. Hopefully we get something good. Of course, not expecting to get Ranger Boots in 7 clue scrolls, but it is a nice beginning on the grind, so let's see if we can get lucky or not. First one is not great. Oh, that is really nice. Ancient Mitre. That is an ancient item, which is actually really good if we're going to next for the kill count, and overall it has a good prayer bonus, so I'm very happy with that. And we get another Mitre, Bandos Mitre. So far, insane luck actually on these. I'm happy even if we get nothing more now. Felder Pills teleports. Actually, I only have two left of those, and they're pretty good for completing medium clue scrolls, so that's nice. A boater. Look at all these uh, collection log pop ups. And the last one is nothing. But yeah, a very successful opening, I would say. They look pretty good as well. And have a look at this. Dark World Order just made the Dragon Fire Shield, so uh, this is a potential range setup for someone in the team. 
looks absolutely insane of course i don't have any boots equipped right now but it would be like ancient boots or something but uh hopefully i can get those rangers in the future and we can get a pigation crystal and on top of all this gear that would look insanely good and also of course i might as well complete the malediction ward this is the second one for the team and if i do get another one from the chaos fanatic on the odium shard grind we will have a third one but yeah, they're pretty useful for a couple of things like Kraken, Solra. I'm sure there are a couple of uses for it. Unfortunately, I did want to do some group bossing in this video, but the team has not really synced up. I think in the near future we will actually get to do some group bossing though. And now with everyone basically having Elite Void, we are going to be able to do Theater of Blood. Not right now, Sandwich Lady. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the end of this video. I do hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see the future uploads, and until next time guys, take care.